Here we see the teacher and technical colleagues collaborating to define the conceptual, procedural, and attitudinal contents, as well as the evaluation criteria for the virtual training. It's important to ensure that students, especially those with special educational needs, are aware of the training timing and any schedule changes. Virtual reality transforms individual learning into cooperative learning, providing real-time feedback and creating a safe and realistic training environment. The evaluation process involves continuous observation, focusing on conceptual, procedural, and attitudinal aspects, emphasizing both individual and group performance. After the training, a survey is conducted to collect feedback and identify areas for improvement, addressing technical and educational aspects as needed.